Some legend. This bait's a bust. <laughs> Spoke too soon.
Better go tell Kyrie. Right. So, uh, what about the mayor's other request? You know, the whole take care of her thing? I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but she doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. Way to make tracks is on Choco back. Choco boats for rent right here, folks. Passengers are threatening I'm on the hunt for new. All I want is to grab a material pocket. Tour Coast to Del Sol in style with our wheelies. And all the hotels. This gorgeous beach is the crowd. Welcome back, fellow work. So, did you take care of those baddies? Yep. Ah, perfect. In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it. Hmm? Huh? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie. But this is no laughing matter. What? Wait, hang on a sec. Please. Why would he ask you, my own business partner, to take me out? What did I do wrong? Well, once you showed up, I knew you'd handle it better than me. So I thought I should let the pro do his thing. And if I hadn't shown up, what then? I mean, I would have figured something out. I'm actually a surprisingly resourceful gal, you know. <sighs> Do you want to die? Mm -mm. Forgive my granddaughter for questionable sense of humor. Uh, Grandma? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> if Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. <sighs> Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah, you've told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try every single time, it's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah, oh. Kyrie. You know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? Mm. <sighs> I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums. But that's your thing, Grandma, not mine. And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud, I can't. Because I'm not you. I'm me. I don't know. You certainly sound just like me. Oh? Ah, oh, forgive me, dear. I know I shouldn't push you, or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners, equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then, shall we head home? The people need us. Okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, thanks for looking out for my little Merc. I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Try to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. 
Thank you for stepping in back there. Uh, I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming! Actually, let's say we look for one last job before we leave. Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mayor. Just a little? <laughs> So, what do we do now? We go and tell the mayor we took care of the Merc. Just like you wanted. Swindler out of town. I would have preferred a more final farewell, but she's gone and that's enough. As a token of my thanks, accept this reward. Sir, we've got trouble. See for yourself. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? You better head back. <laughs> We hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums, radiant saviors of the sun-kissed. No way! <laughs> you go, girls! from Corneos. Leslie. What are you doing out here? You look like you've been through hell. Got wind my girl might be out this way. Had to follow up. See if there was truth to it. Well, you saw. After the plate fell, the trio opened the place to refugees. Town tripled in size. Man, if you thought it was lively before. Unfortunately, when Corneo pulled up stakes, he took all that Shinra money with him. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Walmart's days are numbered. Madame M's trying to work her magic, but I don't know. Sector 7's still a mess. Probably gonna stay that way for a while. Expressway collapsed right after the plate. And then out of the blue, the company decides it needs a new president. It seems pretty clear Shinra doesn't give a shit about Sector 7. Undercity especially. But that shouldn't come as a surprise. The people have stepped up though. Clearing the rubble, helping the injured, locating the missing. In 
case I didn't tell you, my name's Merle. After you guys left Wall Market, I started asking around. Hoped one of her friends might know something. Shouldn't have bothered. Even if they did have info, they're not dumb. They wouldn't dare blab to a former Corneo crummy. But I was able to find out she wasn't in Midgar anymore. And ever since then, I've been moving from town to town, looking for leads. So the thing is, Gus is running a special competition, and a woman is the prize. Word around the Dust Bowl is she fled here from Midgar. It's just a hunch, but I think she might be who I'm looking for. She's a prize? That's sick. Gus is a real piece of shit, to put it mildly. You do that? <laughs> Monsters did. Gus is calling it a party, but it's an excuse to see blood. Lots of it. He pits people against fiends, and his money's on the ladder. I lost. So this is where you guys come in. Join the party, win, and free that woman. Still a merc, aren't you? No reason not to. True. Please. We'll do it. <laughs> so you know, need a team of five to sign up. In the ring, though, it's one on one. <sighs> and humans only, I'm afraid. <sighs> I'm counting on you, and so's the woman. If anyone can put Gus in his place, it's Walmart gets reigning champs.
Let's keep it up. Expected an upset like this! Cloud the Knife's team has made it to the finals! But playtime's over! This here's the real moment of truth! Are you ready? I wanna hear some noise, people! Give it up for everyone's nightmare! The Murder Machine Supreme! No challengers have ever managed to beat this here's some beam! Does our Merc and his crew have what it takes to be the first? Will they be able to claim our darling little grand prize? You're about to find out, folks. This is the moment we've been waiting for. A desert A show. Gotta say, never thought my little baby would get so thoroughly crushed. Damn it! You have any idea how much kill I spent on that thing? You inconsiderate son of a bitch! Uh, it's good. It's all good. Gotta look to the future. Our future. What do you say? We'd make one hell of a team. To clean up at the fights and the races. Come on, do you wanna? No. <laughs> Don't do me like that. I'll throw in some perks on top. That should sweeten the deal, right? Where's the girl? Oh, so you really were after our little prize. You sir are a turn dog. Well, you're welcome to her. You earned it. Just as a little show of good faith. Go on, don't be shy. And then maybe think over that deal. Pretty close. Hey. Huh? Hello. Where did you come from, beautiful? You looking to get in good with the gust, man? Don't ever pull this crap again. You offer any more people as prizes, they'll have to scrape you off my shoe. Got it? Yes, ma'am. So, how did the reunion go? 
different girl. What? Was just a random tourist from Midgar. Fell for a scam at the saucer and ended up down here. I sent her back up. Made sure she's safe. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'll find her eventually. I'm sure of it. Anyway, what's next for you and the others? We're looking for something too. Need to find it ASAP. <laughs> Funny. Always the same story with us. Good luck to you. Thanks. And you.
Pretty sure the sucker's still around here somewhere. Mind uh, smoking him out and taking him down? A favor, huh? I suppose I could be persuaded, seeing as we are friends. But don't expect me to lift a finger for free. <laughs> Just name your price. <laughs> and you've got yourself a deal. So how do we find this thing? When it's not hunting, it's hiding. So it might be underground. But it should be easy to track down with one of those vibration detectors the Moodles sell at the shop. Well, I'll be. Those monsters have done it all. You mean this?
Don't stop now. business at some point or another. Better be prepared. Right. I see in you. Good luck out there. See you back in Wu Tai! gonna cost you two grand. Two grand? Although, for a visage of such pulchritude... If I had the money, I'd pay your price in a heartbeat. But alas... I'll pay you if you rein it in. Don't think I caught your name. Oh. Oh, my sincerest apologies. I'm Neve, and I write children's books for a living. Which sounds fun, but it's not. Since right now, I'm flat broke. I spent my last remaining gill to come scout out this village. I was hoping to use something here in my next book, but... <sighs> the specter of failure stalks me, looming from behind every corner. Will my creative instincts ever return? Or am I doomed to chase them like a rat in a life-size maze? Wait, what did you say? That sounded a lot like... I'm a rat trapped in a life-size maze! Sorry, but I just gotta ask. You're Meev Mabel, aren't you? Author of Life in the Endless Maze. <laughs> That's my daughter's favorite book in the whole world. Can I get an autograph? Wait, actually, can I shake your hand? Uh, uh, of course! Anything for a fan. I mean, I always assumed I didn't have any, but it's an incredible honor to finally meet an aficionado of my work. Oh. <laughs> you said you were scouting this village for book ideas, yeah? 
<laughs> if it's all right with you, we'd love to help. Got the perfect guy to serve as inspiration, too. What? You are perfect! I am? Yes, I can see it now. A warrior beast with fur as fiery as his burning soul! <laughs> Curse this feeble frame! My mind races, yet my hands plod along as if trapped in treacle! Miss Mabel, are you alright? <sighs> Resolve, suffering, odyssey. Help me to express these themes by taking pictures which embody them. I beseech you. Resolve, suffering, and odyssey. Those are great themes. We're gonna need locations to do them justice, though. There's a riverbed by the edge of the forest that'll work. Come on, let's hit it up. I can't wait to see your photos! They're sure to help me write a story like no other.
last one is Odyssey. Don't know about you, but that screams airstrip to me. Let us fly on the wings of dreams together and claim our freedom. You know, like the book. your imagination what is this feeling it's as if my hand has become a conduit for the gods of prose uh, uh, there once was a crimson warrior who wronged his village for his crimes he was forced to leave and so the former king of the forest embarked on a journey into unknown lands it's actually not too bad of a start. On his journey, he met three princesses, all of whom fell in love with him. But then one of the princesses spoke up in anger. You can't love all of us. You have to pick one. So who will it be? But it won't be you. Stop! Like it's you. Oh, wow. I like where this is going. He gazed off into the distance and with conviction declared, though I began my journey as king of the forest, that is not where I shall end it. My future lies far beyond the woods. This is bound for the bestseller list. A surefire hit. Right, Cloud? You never know. Oh, man, you really just don't get it, do you? Listen, you gotta have faith. If you don't write something you think will sell, it won't. So believe, try it for quite true. I can't wait to read this to my Marlene. Don't want to rush you, but I hope you can finish it soon. Thank you, and I promise that the instant it's complete, I'll make sure to send you and your daughter a copy. Oh, right, and one for our bestial brainchild. 